In this video, we'll cover the latest Star Citizen leaks, upcoming star map, updated EV8, the new personal interaction system, and exciting new Star Citizen updates coming in in Star Citizen Alpha 3.23. All this and more, let's talk. For the leaks this past week, we had actually two patches that dropped. Star Citizen Alpha 3.23. With this one, we found some new pyro assets in the actual patch, as well as some creatures and some star map assets already found in the 3.23 patch itself that went into Evo Kadi. I actually have a video for this one down below. You can check it out after this video. In addition to this, they also did another patch that also hit Evo Kadi, which was the 3.22.1 patch, which was a playtest for the upcoming Idris mission. I think it's going to be a dynamic event, but this one was actually pretty special where they had Evo Kadi versus the actual devs where they need to take over the Idris and see who wins. Very excited stuff. All right, so let's move on to the next one in this week's Inside Star Citizen. The episode was called Extra Vehicular Particular where they introduced two major features. The very first one being the, the upcoming EVA update for Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 and then following that is going to be the personal interaction system which we'll cover after this one. So in regards to EVA, the existing EVA system had limitations. This includes issues with control, orientation, and movement in confined spaces. I think we all can attest to this. The current state of EVA is not for the faint of hearts. The new EVA system features a more controllable and smoother experience. The player's avatar will assume a prone position, making it more versatile and aesthetically pleasing. I can imagine doing some really cool cinematic gameplay sessions with the crew with this update i can't wait so now the changes with this one is camera movement and reduced silhouette when traversing tight spaces the system allows the players to look around without changing their body's orientation and providing a more natural and responsive feel transitions in and out of eva has been streamlined as well eliminating previous issues such as face planting the introduction of eva fuel and momentum adds realism the upcoming feature like 0G traversal and push-pull mechanics are teased for future updates. So not for 3.23, but in a later patch further down the line. But even more exciting, they spoke about the personal interaction system. The existing interaction system is known as the personal inner thought. And as we all know, it faces challenges such as dragging the cursor to select interactions, making it less intuitive. We all know this. Sometimes we can't even interact with what we want to because something else is in the way. I believe we can all attest for that. The personal interaction system aims to provide more streamlined and intuitive interaction experience. The introduction of the interaction prompt shows which item the player will interact with when tapping the F key. It displays the type of interaction to be performed. The player no longer needs to enter a specific interaction mode to interact with the objects as the system offers an on-screen icon with the necessary input. The personal interaction view replaces the list view, offering a more intuitive and customizable radio menu for selecting interactions. Default item actions have been introduced, allowing players to customize actions for specific item types, enhancing their overall experience. The new scoring system for interaction points considers factors like distance, angle, and on-screen visibility, providing a better contextual interaction. I'm personally excited for Star Citizen Alpha 3.23, but things got even more spicy when they did the Star Citizen Live episode on Friday. For this one, they spoke all about the Star Citizen Alpha 3.22 patch coming this March. The first thing they spoke about was the EVA locomotion improvements, which we already covered in the previous segment of this video. The 0G push-pull feature was also discussed. It's a future feature, 0G push-pull, and is introducing a means of movement in gravity without the need of fuel. This mechanic will address issues such as running out of fuel or even reasons to preserve fuel. They then spoke on the default item actions and AR layers. It allows players to interact with the objects using specific hotkeys, enhancing the overall experience. This is also covered in the previous segment in this video. And one of the biggest ones, if not the biggest one for this patch is going to be the upcoming star map. What they mentioned was they're finally going to be adding the star map in Star Citizen Alpha 3.23. One of the features that they mentioned was going to be in it is the search mechanic where you can actually search the location you want by typing it in and then you can plot your route just right there. I honestly believe this is going to be one of the biggest quality of life updates 
in this game up to date. Next, they spoke about tier zero distribution centers, which are planned for Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 update as well they're going to provide various locations for cargo related activities these locations offer diversity and reasons for players to visit these locations will be hubs for most player activities and things like missions cargo transport and dynamic events they then delve into the master mode feature which is a long anticipated addition into the verse the intent of master mode is to make combat a lot tighter and more personal i just hope that this translates well into the pu once we get our hands on it they then spoke about gimbal weapon updates so most ships are going to be having a gimbal slot weapon this means you no longer have to sacrifice your weapon size in order to have the gimbal functionality but of course there are going to be some ships that will not have this functionality like the aries ion and inferno because they have bespoke fixed weapons they then went into combat visor combat lens and 3d ar mini maps as well these are planned for 3.23 this includes general restyling of the player's HUD, various features enhancing the combat experience. Due to the fact that there is a lot of ships in this game, not all of the ships will be imported into the minimap. So I believe that these will be added incrementally as they patch the live servers. I'm personally excited for this feature. I really like the look of the Squadron 42 UI and I cannot wait to see this in the game they then discuss the in-game economy they're now focusing on evaluating aspects such as spending travel time payouts to enhance the overall economic experience for players this will result in shifts being a lot more expensive and some being a lot cheaper based on their role and their capabilities in terms of sneak peek this week they did reveal the cargo elevators at outposts so now this gives indication that they are working on base building right now. The fact that they're adding cargo elevators, the only reason why they would add this is if it personally belongs to you. So I believe that this screenshot here is an actual base with existing assets. Okay, so it's really exciting. The fact that they're already testing this mechanic in their test servers already, it's good to see. Just to let y'all know, my organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below as always leave a like subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video